Today is cabinet painting day. I have my painting outfit on. So I am starting off with the cabinets that I took off. So first I need to remove the hardware. I just want to show you guys how I keep all my screws together. I just tape them and whatever like they go to, I just tape them to it. So this is so small, I just put it together. For whatever reason, I couldn't seem to get these off, so. Guys, I don't know why I just do things without thinking them through. I think I get so excited and I just want to start, but it's just not very smart. So I decided that I'm just going to wait until I get the right tools to cut out the center areas because I want to put the uh, rattan or rat and whatever, um, or maybe burlap, I don't know. But I want to put something there. I don't want it to just be this wood or painted. So I need a jigsaw to do that. I don't have one, so I'm going to get one later. But it's getting a little dark, so I'll probably just do this tomorrow. Okay. It looks good. I don't know why it was making that noise. Maybe I'm not doing it right. So as you can see, I'm not using a drill bit. I actually just used screws because my drill bits weren't working for some reason, even though they were made for wood. Um, so... I used screws, which took me a lot longer, and then I used this tool to kind of ply my way in there to make a hole big enough for my drill bit to fit through. I decided to use this PPG gripper primer because a lot of other RV blogs recommended it as it has great adhesion properties and works well on slick and shiny surfaces. You're also going to need some other supplies like a mini brush roller as well as a good brush to get in the creases and um, a paint tray and some paint stir sticks, all that jazz. Also, because I'm on a budget and trying to buy the least amount of things as possible, I just use some old towels and trash bags as my paint drop cloths. Okay guys, this is tonight's progress. It looks so weird, everything being white. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought I was going to be able to get to the painting part today, but that didn't happen, so it's okay. That'll be next time. Yeah. 
because I chose two colors and there was also cabinets on my refrigerator door, I didn't kind of figure out how exactly I was going to paint. Um, but I just eventually decided to go for it and started taping off where I needed to. I just wanted to take some time to explain the inspiration behind the colors I chose and how I came to choose them. First of all, it was incredibly difficult for me to finally decide on the colors. Um, I think it took like a few weeks of just debating on colors, you know, drawing things out to see if I liked it. I feel like I've always been pretty intuitive whenever it comes to creative processes. Um, I can usually just execute whatever I imagine or I just like go along with it without even thinking about it. But for whatever reason, I think because this is my house or my home and it's something I've been waiting so long to decorate and do and I just didn't want to mess up and also I'm on a budget and I don't want to just buy a lot of paint you know and waste and not use it or something so because of that reason I think I put a lot of unnecessary stress and pressure on myself which I don't recommend at all I think looking back I would have just got in samples, tried them out, and made the process take a little bit longer. So I started off by just picking up a bunch of swatches from Home Depot, and um, I just went based off of the colors that I love already and the colors that I have in my house, in my room. So for me, this looks like a lot of aquas and teals and greens um, with like pops of oranges. So I already knew that my cabinets would likely be a green or a blue or just a mix of both. Why am I nervous? <laughs> so after that, um, I started to create my Pinterest board, which is where I really found a lot of inspiration. Um, and I also felt really inspired by the movie um, Strange World on Disney+. Plus. The kitchen in that movie, I was just so, I love it. I knew I wanted to incorporate the deep, bold, vibrant colors that I loved um, while also being heavily inspired by Mexican decor and rustic decor. So like terracotta colors, tur turquoise doors. Um, I also bought these Talavera tiles, which I'll put here um and those were kind of like what i centered my designs around so i ended up deciding on the darker teal color because i knew it would complement the darker uh wood flooring that i had but i wanted the majority of the cabinets to be bright so that the space could feel more open um so i ended up choosing the lighter aqua green because i knew it would complement the teal um and just keep with the theme and it also had this really pretty green undertone um, which i felt would tie in the green colors later so then i drew out a lot of drafts um uh, just so i could visualize how the colors would look Whenever I finally painted the colors, I still felt a bit uneasy about them. I wasn't completely sure if I liked it. Um, so the next day, I just grabbed all my rugs and greenery and my tiles and just as much as I could to bring back to my RV and kind of see how everything was going to look together. 
and I feel like that really helped me and it really the color started to really grow on me at that point but now I love them I feel like they're so magical and really will go well with like the rustic and Mexican decor it's just funny like looking back on this whole process and how stressed out I was and really honestly I feel like you can't judge it until the very end like you just don't know what it's gonna look like until you see it all together like till you see the complete finished renovation anyway thank you as always for being here with me i honestly appreciate any support that i've received on this channel Please feel free to leave a comment below um, telling me how you feel about my cabinets and if you would do a color this bold or if your aesthetic is a little bit different. See you next time!